start rain fed agriculture in india constitutes nearly 64% of the net cultivated area contributing 40% of the food grains supporting population of more than 1 billion and plays a significant role in consuming food security there has been some decline in the rain fed area because of development of irrigation facilities since independence but two-thirds of net sound area still remains rain fed even when the full irrigation potential of the country is realized 50 percent of the net sound area is expected to continue to remain rain fed Rainfed agriculture encounters several constraints on account of climatic, edific and social factors. The productivity levels of these areas have remained lower across years because of frequent drought occurring due to higher variability in the quantum and distribution of rainfall, poor soil health, low fertilizers, use of imbalanced fertilizers, small farm size and poor mechanization, poor socio-economic conditions and low risk bearing capacity, low credit availability and infrastructure constraints. Consequently, farmers are distracted from agriculture and tend to migrate to cities to look for alternative jobs. Hence, there is a great need to increase the productivity of rain-fed crops and overall net returns to keep the farmers in agriculture. Adaptation is as important as mitigation in dealing with climate change as the world is already committed to certain extent of climate change and even the fullest possible mitigation efforts will not prevent the projected rise in temperature till 2100. Therefore, comma adaptation measures to climate variability and change need greater attention in terms of research, policy and institutional support. Conservation of natural resources, especially soil and water, need to be given high priority as it is these two factors that predispose a given region to a climate related disaster like an agricultural drought. Though there are a number of programs such as DPAP, DDP, NW, DRPRA, Narega initiated by the government from time to time, <clears throat> they need to be better coordinated and technically backstopped. Government policies should encourage cropping patterns and practices that conserve natural resources. The main adaptation strategies in agriculture including growing crops and varieties that fit into changed rainfall and seasons, development of varieties with changed duration that can overwinter the transient effects of change, development of varieties for heat stress, drought and submergence tolerance evolving varieties which respond positively in terms of growth and yield under high co2 in addition varieties and high fertilizer and radiation use efficiency and also novel crops and varieties that can tolerate 
कोस्टल सेलिनिटी एंड सी वाटर इन यू डे इन इन यून इन अंडेशन आर नीडेड इंटर क्रॉपिंग इज अ टाइम टेस्टेड प्रैक्टिस टू कोप विद क्लाइमेट वेरिएबिलिटी एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज इफ वन क्रॉप फेल्स ड्यू टू फ्लड्स और ड्राउट्स सेकेंड क्रॉप गिव्स सम मिनिमम एश्योर्ड रिटर्न ऑफ लाइवलीहुड सिक्योरिटी जर्म प्लाज्म ऑफ वाइल्ड रिलेटिवस एंड लोकल लैंड रेसेज कुड प्रूव वैल्यूएबल सोर्स ऑफ क्लाइमेट रेडी ट्रेट्स पुटिंग इन प्लेस एंड इफेक्टिव वेदर मॉनिटरिंग एंड अर्ली वार्निंग सिस्टम इज एजेंशियल फॉर मिनिमाइजेशन द इम्पैक्ट्स ऑफ वेदर एबरेशंस इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ फोरकास्टिंग कैपेबिलिटीज इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट स्टेप इन अचीविंग अ बेटर प्रिपेयर्डनेस फॉर एन इमिनेंट एबनॉर्मल वेदर इवेंट इक्वली इम्पॉर्टेंट इज टू कम्युनिकेट द प्रडिक्शंस टू ऑल द स्टेक होल्डर्स फार्मर्स गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स फिनेंस एंड इंश्योरेंस इंस्टीट्यूशंस एटसेट्रा इन अ फॉर्म दैट इज मोर रिलेवेंट understandable and actionable encouraging soil conservation and rain harvesting measures go a long way in drought proofing water harvesting and recycling through farm ponds and location specific land configuration like ridge and furrow method of planting help cope with dry periods as well as floods similarly comma it is equally important that the natural stream courses are not disturbed by urbanization and industrialization as it will increase the probability of floods timely dissemination of knowledge to the stakeholders is of utmost importance promoting good agricultural practices the inm ipm soil and water conservation practices will protect the crops though the impacts are not dramatic in the short term a paradigm shift in rain fed agriculture can be expected through technological thrust and policy changes to meet the growing demands for food growing for fodder and fiber on a sustainable basis it is inevitable to improve the production and productivity in these areas stop